The uh, next guy, very cool guy, good friend of mine, regular in our shows, he's actually from Pasadena. Some serious cred, Ice House, give it up for him, you know, fuck those other clubs, like I said. Oh my god. Please, let's hear it for the very funny Dillip Cotry. Alright, how's everybody doing? Let's give it up for our MC Sally. Yes. And I want to say hello to a member of our Hare Krishna crowd here. Thank you. For <laughs> so I, I want to wish you all happy Chinese New Year. And did you know that the Chinese New Year is the year of the snake? And in America, that's the year of the attorney. Nobody had any bad experiences with any lawyers? <laughs> you like lawyers? Well, I had an interesting uh, January. Actually, I had a birthday in January. I turned 48. So, and I'm, thank you. And I realized as I approached 50 that caffeine has now become a sedative. I also realized that Viagra is officially now a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> so, I'm actually Indian, and I want to clarify this. I'm not Apache, I'm not Navajo, I'm not Cherokee. It's okay, Hare Krishna people, we're going to get to you. Just relax. <laughs> we have a special prayer for you. I want to clarify that when Columbus came to discover America, he got lost because he was following the uh, Apple navigation light map. So, and he got here and he thought that he was in India, so he labeled everybody Indian. But these people are not Indians, folks. I am the original Indian. Are we all clear on this? So only I should be allowed to open a casino. <laughs> Even the folks that were here, the Native Americans, they're not Native Americans because they came over some mountains several hundred years ago without any papers. So they are also undocumented. Are we clear on this, folks? Everybody here is undocumented. We all came here from somewhere else. So everybody, uh, did we all survive the fiscal cliff? Yes. Yeah? Everybody, you, you know what the fiscal cliff is? You know? you know that our government is about to run out of money. So our Congress has come up with a very interesting idea. They're going to manufacture this coin called the trillion dollar coin. One coin worth a trillion dollars. And you know who they decided whose face they're going to put on it? Lance Armstrong. <laughs> and instead of saying, in God we trust, it's going to say, oh my God. We're just going to manufacture some money. So, people when they find out I'm Indian, expect me to talk with an Indian accent. And I didn't want to disappoint you today. So you know, there are three words that Indians love to use. Basically, totally, and confused. But they don't say confused, they say confused. So like, if you're asking an Indian, well, for example, how many of you go and see an Indian doctor? Anybody go see an Indian doctor? Oh, come on, you don't see a doctor? You go see an Indian doctor and you say, well, what's wrong with me? And so he does some tests and he says, but basically, what we are going to find out is that we're not totally sure. <laughs> but we are going to do some tests and basically well, we think that the problem is going to be, but then again, we're, I think we're totally confused. <laughs> or if you ask an Indian for directions, and you say, hey, how do you get to the ice house? You say, well, basically, you go down the street, you make a left turn. Well, I'm not totally sure. <laughs> but basically, you go in that direction, but then, well, I think I'm totally confused. <laughs> I have another interesting thing to tell you about me. You know, I, I came here as an immigrant. I was actually born in Nigeria, which under federal law makes me an African American. So I am a black guy.
which means that I have a special connection to my African-American brothers out there. And so I want to say to you folks out there, I totally feel your pain. Now, because I was born in Nigeria, I can never run for President of the United States. But I can run for President of Nigeria. I just have to change my name. Chikuma Bangugi Boom Boom. President Boom Boom. I think that would go over well. Are we all excited about Valentine's Day? Do we have any married people in the audience? Oh, you poor father. Anybody married for like more than 10 years? All right, I talked to the judge, you're up for parole next year. It's, it's those warm moments that I just cherish, you know. So much love in the audience there. If I were you, I'd be taking a separate bus home. Today. Well, here's a little secret for all you guys. Because we know what the aphrodisiac for men is, but did you know that there's a secret aphrodisiac? Well, it's not much of a secret, but I want to give all the men the 100% guaranteed aphrodisiac for any woman anywhere in the world. Are you ready? Yeah. It's called money. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me you ladies don't agree with me. Honestly. Uh, so do we have any divorced people in there? In the yes! yes. <laughs> I see I struck a nerve. We have one sort of happily married, who's going to be on America's Most Wanted probably pretty soon. And then we have a very happily divorced. Here's some good advice from my divorced friend out there. My accountant told me that my accountant advised me that I could write off the expenses from my ex-wife for my divorce by claiming my ex-wife as a natural disaster. <laughs> so I did. I claimed her as a tornado, hurricane, and an earthquake. And then I was promptly audited. And the auditor asked me, how can you claim a tornado, hurricane, and an earthquake? I said, well, you didn't know her. And only a woman can spin you around, shake you up, leave you wet and homeless. <laughs> Thank you for my Hare Krishna crowd here. I want to leave you with three things to remember about people. You can tell a lot about people by the way they laugh. For example, there is the wicked laugh. No props, please. Are we ready for the wicked laugh? Yes. There is the old man's laugh. There is the very old man's laugh. There is the romantic laugh. This is the laugh when you're dating her. <laughs> there is the married woman's laugh, married for five years. Now you married her, you've been married for five years. Married woman's laugh. <laughs> and then there is the married woman with children laugh. Are we ready for this? Thank you, everybody. My name is